We're live. Did you know that we're live? I knew it. What's up, everybody? So we got a package today from Uresin. Let me put you on overhead. Damn. These are who we're going to see when we go up to Australia. Let's um, let's just turn this off. We don't. There's so much lighting here, and that way you can use that okay. camera. It's, it's neat. Is it better? It still looks blown out. I look blown out. Maybe we just have a white shirt on. I just need you guys to oh, know. Oh, that looks good. That this is a moose. Did you even know that you can get resin paint in moose form? Look, it's like, what's that test that they do at Dairy Queen? Like, before they hand you the blizzard, they have to be like, mmm, won't come out. Anyways, ba-bam. So we're going to play with these today with our special guest, Kenny Hargrove. He is in hair and makeup right now, so as soon as he is here, I will show you guys. You guys have seen him in the chat rooms. Nope. Yes. You've in our live feed. You've seen him in the locker room. You've seen him in the locker room. You've seen him on TMZ. You've, You've seen him on the red carpet. He's in there getting pumped up. Correct. Time. I think rock paper scissors for themselves. Yes. I wouldn't crate to pour on Rachel. That's something exciting. I know. The pink will be interesting to see. This one is rose. Nope. Yep. Rose. We got mystery. Gray. Gray. Another mystery. Lemon meringue. Never seen a golden moon. Ooh, it makes me want chocolate for real, for real. Um, we got some beetroot. That's an attractive name. Hand me that beetroot. Aquamarine. Stunning color. Your what do you call it today? Ice cream sundae. Mmm, so whippy. Cujo is escorting Kenny back to the stage. I find my phone for some entrance music, and then I finally find it. <laughs> it's out here. It's so so boy, entry, like, ah, entry, ah, music. entry music is delayed. <laughs> also, sapphire, turquoise, and <laughs> lime, which I think Kenny is trying to do today. So, Kenny, you are on camera. So this is what it looks like from the other side of the computer. It is. This like, is it. Uh, Crayola Harbor. This is where we are. This is where we live. This side of the street. This is how it goes down. I feel like Tommy Boy. Does the camera add 100 pounds? <laughs> Clearly. You still That's look. That's what I keep telling people. Hi, nurse calls. Tommy looks fatter. You know, that's the camera. It ends a couple hundred pounds. Right, Barb? Perfect. So, I'm still super blown out. It's probably because all these windows are on and also I'm the palest one, but whatever. Hi, Swan. I'm pale too, so. Come on. You can't get more pale than me. I'm the whitest one. No, there's the, uh, the, famous, the famous burn. What it looks like. Life. Lifelong. What's up, Sarah? So, um, All right. I can't put pushpins in this board. No, that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm good. We can do the, being that they were, uh, I thought about that when I was, I was like, wait, we're using boards so we can, we can do the, we can Caps. Yeah. Cat, 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 That's what I was, it's bend in this board is what I was. I mean, these boards are a little bit bending. How they are they really? Because I, I don't know what happens. I think B 
these would be like the style if you're not trying if you're trying to keep the paint on the uh, canvas is uh, taped, you know what I need to take up the sides to paint the back. Pull it back down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a, uh, uh, I, I work in construction, so I'm going to try not to drop any, this isn't late night uh, pour, so no, we, have it's still really, we don't, really we don't have time. a, we don't have a beep, beeper, <laughs> you don't have a beeper <laughs> I will try to run. keep it, I'll try to keep it uh, PG-13, they say the S word on TV now, so. I feel like it's acceptable to say it's just the S word. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to so, drop so no the best F, side of that. No F bombs. Now we just try to stay away from like the harsh. Which that's one of my favorite words, though. I mean, it, it expresses so much. It is a multi use word for sure. Oh, show. Are you concerned with your white t shirt, Kenny? Uh, no. Do you need an apron? No, I actually wore, actually, I, I, I usually buy new shorts, and then I tell myself I'm going to, I have I have paint shorts, but then I get an idea, and I go to my table, and I start painting, and I look down, and I'm like, time. oh, crap, and for me, my, my lap likes to catch stuff when I'm, you know, tilting, and I mean, if you look at my wheels, they have paint on them, and All uh, so painter's pants are my wheels. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a rolling. I'm a rolling artist. It, it proves that I do. I do art. Where with honors there? So I'm. I'm a rolling canvas. I'm, that's what I am. I'm a. I'm a piece like a of, freight train. I'm a work of art on wheels. You're a one man freight train. Yes. <laughs> Come through. Um, Jerry K. I would always use matte because if you use gloss spray paint, you're going to be prone to pitting. Yes, we just talked about that. That I had a canvas do that. One of my, it's like waiting. That we were talking about the next morning. Uh, what will this? Is it going to be perfect? You take the cover off. You look down at the angle to see the pit. Son of a oh, pit. Son of a pit. Son of a pit. <laughs> son of a pit. Son of beach. <laughs> so yeah, that's a. Uh, that, that is my, I'm a, uh, I work, I get to work at 5 a.m. in the morning, so that's why I usually have to cut out at the late night. That's why I'm doing this uh, midday pour, because uh, the late night ones, I wake up at 3.30 to get ready for work, so. Uh, that's not a real time. But I drive through downtown, a 35 mile one way, so feeding traffic really saves my, uh, I would say gray hair, but I don't have any hair, so it's good. I accepted the hair doesn't grow on the side, or the hair doesn't grow on top, only the side. <laughs> and I wish that hairstyle would come back in, because man, it would be. I'm telling you, my, my, my dad, so my dad <laughs> had a big room to crack and comb over like no other. I actually just, I just shaved the beard two days ago and brought that, brought my. Dad's amazing '70s porn stash. Yeah, uh, that. So I do have a. What's up, y'all? Stash town. It's weird looking at one the other. You um, delay on one on the other. I look over and I'm like, wait, I'm not doing that right now. Oh, move on. Actually, it is. Awesome. So you want to just pour in regular? I these, like I said, these would be good for if you tape up the sides for and keeping the paint on the canvas, but that's no fun when you're trying to, when you're blowing, trying not to use any, that's what she said moments. I know, it's, I was it's about to say it's hard. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no stone coat pro of dropping the so many, that's what she said moments. Uh, it's it so funny. So, it's he amazing. Wasn't, he had no, he kept saying like, what did who say? What did I say? Why don't I have she now? He was so innocent and so... And I just recently did the... I didn't get to watch The Office when it was first came out. Uh, so I did... I had some time time off. I was sick and I had time off. I did nine seasons in about a week. 
So I'm all caught up on the that's what she said moments. They're great. Sorry for the delay, y'all. We were going to pour on these boards, but they're bowing, so Jeff is prepping. Bowing like a 737. Right. Aww. Not, not, in, a, not in Alaskan, an Alaskan airline doing... Uh, Agree, Jody. The day ones make you happy. We try to come on during the days on oh, Tuesday. I, I get to say my favorite line for, you know, if you're a Rangers fan, pick the Rangers. He's not with them anymore, but he would say it to even like the Asian group or any. He you know he would always say "Good day, mate" to anybody. And that's how he said uh, Jim Knox. So I get to say to all the Australian people, "Good day, mates." Well, I'm uh, there. It's it's one o'clock. No, is it morning there? No, yeah. What time is it right now? Two. Uh, yeah, two, two fifteen. 15. So it's four hours ahead of us. But Hi, Petro. And so, speaking of Australia, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Coffee Sisters, the surfers. So I follow them. Oh, yeah. Some good genes in that family. I'll say that. We are so excited about going over to yeah, that's... Australia. We're going to meet the wonderful people that sent us the U resin paints. All these, what, is there something about Australia that that's where all the pigment, that's where all the colors are? Like, why is it like more colors in Australia? Like, almost yeah, everything. They own the market on shipping, I'll tell you that much. Unless you buy in bulk and you sell a kidney. Uh, I bought this color luckily, obsession in bulk and I did have to give up a kidney to get luckily, it Luckily, you guys have paired up with so many... We were just talking about how, I mean, I've, I've been following, when I took a screenshot to share with my friends today of the, of the header, I saw the 16,000, you know, it's crazy on how much this channel has grown. Uh, I, mean, I started, as many people have, you know, I, I, was, I got sick last year and I was on bed rest for a while, and so I started watching YouTube paintings about abstract, and then I fell into the poor. I, I came across Melly from Canada, Melly D, and I, I watched her paintings, videos forever, you know, over and over, and uh, once I was finally able to get up and moving around, I hit the canvas on January, and actually my first painting that I ever did I posted it on my Instagram just to, for my friends to see and if somebody wanted to buy it. And I've actually done pretty well since. I've commissioned a bunch of pieces. I've got an art show coming up uh, in Rockwall next month, at the end of next month. Nice. I sold about awesome. 20, 30 pieces since January, since I started doing this. And it's been crazy. And the resin, I'm in love with the resin just because of you can only do so much with pour, you know, pouring acrylic, and it is messy, and you are wasting a lot. But the depth that you get with resin is—you you can't, you can't get, you can't get it with acrylic. You, you can get some type of movement and depth to it, but the layers and what the pouring the clear and then a the color on top of it, and you know, it's—you, I've st I've stared at some of my pieces that when they when they dry the next day, I think I just sit at my table and look at them for about an hour. I've got the one that I did on glass, that black and red and silver one that I put behind my desk. I hung it yesterday behind my desk, first time I poured on glass. And uh, I think I got less work done yesterday because I was just turning around looking at it the whole time. The struggle. Would you say that acrylic pouring was your intro to your resin addiction? Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't... I didn't even know about pouring really, like I said, until I came across. I, I always there's a few abstract painters that I follow. I've always you know, I've messed with. I've always been afraid of painting. I'm a, I do, I'm more of a drawing artist, and every I would measure everything out. Everything had to be symmetrical, and I do these names for my my nieces and nephews. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And uh, bless, and. Uh, I would get three fourths the way done, and the the most smallest thing that nobody would ever notice except me. 
I would start all over again and I would have to measure everything out again. And so painting scared me because everything, I thought it, everything had to be perfect. That's what, you know, we were talking earlier. Jackson Pollock is my, my huge fan just because, and there's, there's no symmetry to it, but there is on his, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same that. time with painting, the other thing is, it's like what Melly, uh, what she would say is, uh, be strong, back away. Um, yeah. You know, you got to know when to say when. Uh, no when to hold. Like, yeah, yeah, Kenny Rogers for the painters. Uh, know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Uh, what do they want to know your Instagram so they can follow? Uh, what is mine? Oh, uh, Rangers are life seven. I think that's what it is. Uh, I am a hardcore Rangers fan. I've got them tattooed on my chest. Uh, baseball, y'all. Baseball. Yeah, and that's why the Texas flag is on my left arm sleeve because that's where it is on their on their sleeves on their uniforms. Fun fact. All yeah. All, all my ink has a fun fact to it, so I don't want to. Go down that uh, wormhole, uh, that'd be like going down the YouTube wormhole. But uh, yeah, I think it's Rangers are life seven. Dot uh, com dot org. While he's looking that up, I just want to show you guys my favorite piece from yesterday. Yeah, Rangers are alive seven with just the number seven. I want to do. I think Jeff's using these colors today to make a large piece, larger than just a coaster. All that work to try to make a goldfish, and this, the leftovers. Yeah. Oh, splat. Her splatter. My octopus. Goldfish. He's not run over. He just has a lucky fin. And then. Finding Nemo found a tire. Just one. I think I'm going to sharpen him up with some um, pen, paint pen. Got to do something. Yeah, that's the, the pen work that you do. Um, I have a, I have a, it's my own type of art that I've done that I've never seen before, but I do. Um, I start with a white piece of paper and start doing pictures, names, shapes, and fill out. I've, I've got one actually, it's hanging at Inwood Tavern. Um, oh, yeah, I remember you told us uh, about that. that crazy but it's all the detail. The deep, you know, you could look at it forever. I, I've done them for my friends, and when I do them for my friends, it's all store or memories that what we've done together um, yeah. and they can look at it and they're, they're like how do you remember that and how do you remember that and sometimes i'm surprised that i do remember that uh, but uh but it was my first time to do a commission to one where i had to do the research and um, i have one and they take forever they're i mean they're pretty much priceless i mean a nine by twelve really takes me like 30 hours to do uh, because it starts with a blank white piece of paper and you just take a black ink pen and start filling in these shapes and names and I did one for myself I've done three for myself I did one on a 12 by 18 piece of paper that when you start like there's no way I'm going to be able to fill out this whole piece of paper and at the end of it, when I finally finished, literally, I had over 100 hours put into it. Um, at the end of it, I was like, oh man, I could have put this, I could have put this. Uh, but it just has memories of um, friends and things that I've been through. Uh, uh, I've been there through a lot enough, so. Yeah, so you got some stories, that's awesome. I do have stories. I've been told I should write a book, but I'm scared people don't need to know everything about <laughs> some of my secrets. Hey, some of these may or may not be true. Yeah, that's uh, names. Fiction. Names were changed to protect the innocent. Why what is, is my name? Why is my name not in there? Huh? What Instagram? Uh, Rangers are life seven. The number seven. 
A R E? Uh, yeah, A R E. Because the Texas Rangers are life. They might suck right now, but don't get me started on 2011. But it's cow. Cowboy season about to be here, so we'll see. I'm ready for that. No, I need to find some tickets for my son for his birthday. They play on October yeah, there's, 14th. There's no way I'm going to a game unless somebody pays for my tickets and my parking. Right. Like sixty dollars to park. So let's get this party started. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Apparently, you're getting blown up with new followers. Awesome. Welcome to my world. I will accept you when I get around uh, to the later. So, what wife did you say you wanted to use? Uh, my favorite wife that I'm using right now is the Stone Coat. Um, it sells like a mofo. That it does. Right. So, I'm wondering. Let's give you this. And this. Right, so 12 inch, what's the 5 ounce, 4 ounces, 5 ounces per 12 by 12? I usually use the art resin calculator. We used to until we realized that it's never. It gets me close. And on negative space, it's, it's different. Because you're not using as much color, and that's oh, speaking of it. So you had your butterfly pour. I didn't get to. Uh, I didn't do a butterfly pour. I didn't involve myself. That I brought these for you. For your butterfly. Um, y'all, what about you? They're butterflies. With the excess resin in the molds. I haven't done any the, uh, butterfly molds. The excess molds is like my favorite thing now. I think I enjoy some, some of that more than some of the painting on the canvas because of how they, I don't know how you can see the detail and the crackle of how these Um. so much fun. Like this, that blue, and they have a black crack over on it. This is probably going to get Is this Lucy? Too. This is Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Thank you, Kelly. That's what she said. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> What's up, Lars? Pedro, today. Yeah, Lars, how's it coming along? And how's that good? These are, these are fun. I love the molds. I've got little animals. I'm going to be doing one where for my niece that has limp. Uh, lymphoma. I oh, know. Um, but the blue butterfly is the symbol for it, um, lymphedema. And so I have a bunch of butterflies. I'm going to do a pour and I'm going to, ins instead of like the the stones and the rocks that you put on there, I'm going to make it like a, she has this backyard of bushes that um, are filled with butterflies. It's amazing. I didn't even know it when they bought the house. Um, and then it turns out that symbol has to do with the daughter. Um, so what do we what do we do? Uh, twelve by twelve, four ounces or six ounces? I would go six. Yeah. Um, Lars, what's up? I'm glad you're here, Pedro. We are using Stone Coat's art coat. It probably would have been fine with four, but. We'll put posters. What is that? Twelve by twelve. I want a kid to do a resin pour, but I have 150 euros. Whatever I can get for that, thank you. Absolutely, jumping bunny. Just shoot me an email. Glad you're feeling oh, okay, Lars. Lars, thank you. Lars. I really honestly, I hope you're okay. Shoot Jeff a message. We'll chat about your everything that's going on. With your foot and your bus. That's what I need to, I need to get. Uh, 
Um, oh, yeah, I forgot he was doing a bus. More, Thank you so uh, much, I can't wait for that bus to come through. More big sticks. Come again? I need more big sticks. That's what she said. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. They, I've used them so many times, peeling off at the... I think that's where some of my trash comes from in the... Yeah, could be. These sticks are like mess up sticks if you like are too... I wonder where the... So the blue tint... I wondered where the blue tint sticks came from. They're, the our manufacturer ended up getting the wrong kind of plastic for these, and so they're they're basically faulty. So they'll they'll break if you put too much pressure on them. However, I have a whole bunch of these not a million time uses sticks if you want to take some with you. Sweet. Oh, we have. Oh, and uh, yeah, I went. I went the uh, their stock of colors. It's yeah. it's ridiculous. It's candy store. I just I had to roll away because I was grabbing too many colors that oh, I'll be purchasing on our shelves. Yeah, he walked in while we were unboxing. It was like going into Hobby Lobby or Michaels. There was a glow, an awe. Oh. The angels sang. That's what I need to do. Angels sang. That's awesome, Crystal. <laughs> Tell Jeff this that my that bad day where I was chucking coffee cornflakes about my house I also cleaned my badger out with clear lacquer by mistake ooh. apparently ooh, I don't know clear lacquer mm -hmm. Does it sound like I'm, on I'm glad you're here Lars huh oh. I sound like I'm on the radio I don't know use your your DJ voice. I was just telling Jeff you're here, Lars. And he wants to know how your foot's doing. Oh, um, Lars, that is an airbrush. Huh? Isn't that badger an airbrush? Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's a very low grade airbrush. Um, I think they came out with a, a nicer nice. one. I, I wouldn't be surprised. They probably should have. Just being, a, a, there's a lot of airbrushes out there that. Uh, so the colors that Kenny is going to use are probably not going to focus. Oh, there it goes. Lime Mousse Pigment by U Resin. Turquoise Mousse by U Resin. Sapphire Mousse by U Resin. And this white. Or white base tent by Stone Cold. Do you get your rag with your alcohol? Yeah, it's right there. The, this one? Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's all nice and wet. Ew. That's <laughs> what <laughs> Y'all gross. All right, which. Hi, Janine. Not that late. IV antibiotics are good. I thought I was going to have to get an IV the other day. I was so run down from everything going on. And there's a place in the building that we live in that'll like come to you and give you IV like vitamin B. No, the Crescendo, the expensive one. I oh, use that for big heavy motorbikes. bikes. It's like a real big, kind of bulky. Did somebody give us a hundred dollars? I told you, Lars. Lars, thank you very much. I can't wait to. You gotta save me a spot inside that bus so I can get a black sharpie and go to town. If there's any area in there for that, that would be fun. Work for the geo, but a heat gun for a table finish. Angela, did it peel up your? finished. We, I mean, we have been busy, but worth it. I've had it for 15 years. We got this in room. We can move all this stuff. Thank you so much. 
Lara says birthday sippy. L O L. Yes, for you, absolutely. You're welcome on the bus, B. Is it a short bus? It's long. It's That's a, what like she it's, said. I missed it. Um, Janine, the Mod Podge worked out great last night. It set up perfectly. We're gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find that stuff in bulk because it's not exactly cheap. The little, this little bottle that we have. You know what I would love to get? A wall right here. We put a bunch of Dixie cup dispensers. So maybe it's like, choo -choo 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 right out. His bus is a 40 foot with a deck. Hi, Christine. Right. So that's a moose. I've never used it, so. I'm interested to see how it reacts in the resin. Stir one up before we the other to see how it. What is, which one? The moose? It smells good or it smells it's bad? Got a, it's just, it's, or actually, I think I'm smelling the, the just white or Yeah, that, that probably. white is what it is. That's what I'm smelling. Like so that's that, what we do. Everything that's, that's a, different or that stuff does have anything you notice. That's what we that's what we do. So some people are like, uh, do you not say that? And they're like, no. David Cruz says, anyone know someone in Dallas that paints graffiti? Who, who said that? David Cruz. Yeah. We know a lot of people. What do you need done? That's freaking awesome. I don't know how the green is going to go with the blues, but I'm actually kind of doing a green bluish combination for a friend of mine that is battling cancer right now. Um, she, uh, so I'm wearing, that's why I'm wearing a pastel color bracelet for Keely. Staying strong. Easier to go back. A wall in a house. There's to go back. Okay. He needs a wall in a house done. Let's oh. know. If I can't do it, I know 400 people can. Love the green. Hey, Joe Fish. Yeah, this green. Baby, do we hear grilled chicken? No. Ate a bite of it. Not a fan. Are we on side view? Right yeah. now, yeah. We have Lucy view. Hey, can you want some water? Uh, yeah, I'll take a water, please. Hey. That's my yes, my, please. My water sippy sippy. I don't sippy sippy anymore. Don't sippy sippy anymore. No sippy sippy anymore. I I sippy sippy from fourteen to thirty two, so I figure I've sippy sippy enough. We don't sippy during the daytime usually. And when it's sippy during the daytime turns into bad. Like yeah. Bad and when you uh, when you sippy sippy in a wheelchair, I don't know if you've ever floated the river, but you don't really realize how much you've drank until you get to the end of the river and you stand up and you're like, whoa, <laughs> I am drunk. Well, I don't get that stand up to. I was going to say, like, what do you see do where it's uh, just like. Oh boy, here it comes to see where I'm at. Um, <laughs> you just don't realize you're, you're moving. Yeah, I don't realize how much, and I've, I've, not like a bragging montage or anything, but I, I have a wide variety of friends, and every time somebody would show up, it's hey, let's do a shot, and let's do a shot. Oh, yeah. So next thing you know, wake up the next morning um, upside down in your how did? Oh uh, well, you, <laughs> you know what. Uh, I have, uh, there was a 
storing it in my life. That was one of the reasons I kind of quit drinking was in Rockwell trying to roll home from the bar. Oh, boy. Uh, it's about a seven-mile uh, roll. So this is, how I, this is what I'm going to do. If you, if you write a book, I'll read the book. Then I'll just look at like three or four years. I wish I wish I would have this out in the book, and where's this out in the book? I wish I would have had I wish I would have had GoPro back then on the chair. Oh yeah, it would really explain a lot of nights. I can't imagine if we had GoPros back then. Oh man, I'm glad. I mean, I'm glad I don't at the same time because there doesn't need to be proof of none of that. It's like why I'm glad there wasn't social media back then too. I keep all my pictures in a photo album in a safe. How's that lighting, babe? I'm pulling out on main camera, but it'll be fine. I don't. You're, you're blowing out on this? Yeah, I, it's I'm probably just these. Yeah. I thought you said I'm pulling out. Mm -hmm. That's already better. Boy, I think the temperature just dropped like four degrees too when that happens. So much better. I look regular. I look like I haven't showered right. today, but I look I think regular. I, Enough where we heat gum wise, right there. Right, so need yep. to right here. Um, yes, Barb, that paint is supposed to be that thick. It's a mousse, so I'm not sure what the difference is wow. in terms of what it does in resin versus a paste, but we're going to try it out for y'all. Yep, testy, testy. One, testy, two, one, testy. two. And the way we, the way we pour. go. Main roll keeps focusing. Main roll keeps focusing. Yeah, I think it's because it's white on white on white right, right here. Now. Right, but um, what I can do is turn. What about turning this off? It's still focusing, funny. But the color's fine because of this window. Let me get a little bit of light. Are you guys having an amazing Tuesday? I almost said Monday. Oh, he's got his headphones on. He's in his own. It's about to be really real. Where can I put this bolt? Pour it on the other side. You may have to kickstart that. Well, that's not going to work for me. I can't kick. Push start it. That's what we'll do. Oh, yeah. I need to work out more. Thank you. So Laura Taylor, I'm on my fourth bottle of water today. I feel like a true adult when I drink enough water. Enough water. Um, Kenny lives close to Dallas. He lives more like Fort Worth. I can put this on the other side. Oh, yeah. I'm a righty. I shoot with my right. Janine, I want cookies. Janine makes the best cookies. What is Kenny listening to? Uh, Mr. Lincoln Park. Ah, Lincoln Park. That's not far from us, Kelly. Not quite legal here yet, David. Oh, uh, I wish it was. Hey, if the man's watching, no, I don't. I don't. That's fine. It's true, David. It's about to be medically legal in Oklahoma. How is Oklahoma being Texas? Oklahoma, you can buy liquor during the daytime beer. in stores. They're fierce. And they have gambling. Yeah. yeah. They are. They're all over it. They gotta make up for all the rest of the stuff in this. Who has craps tables with cards and no dice? 
ื่อนเอาก็เอามาจำ um, understood David understood rub it in Lucy rub it in would have been awesome Kelly so Kenny do you have design elements in mind uh, uh, well, for the square, I planned on doing a center and doing negative on top and bottom, white negative top and bottom, pouring across. I'm just gonna start with the green. Let's get crazy. Get so, wild out here, starting with green. Bob Ross, you know, let's, let's let's have a little fun. I would I meant to bring the brush so I could beat the devil out of it. Just for the <laughs> no idea why. I don't know. Love Bob. Uh, I thought Texas like, had passing like a minute for me. Like Trudy, I, watch I, I, I still watch now that he's on Netflix, I'll I'll put him on and fall asleep. I mean, he's he paints me to sleep literally. Like I'll I'll sit there and watch his painting, and okay. it'll uh, I feel like it's almost legal everywhere. It should be legal everywhere. And that's what I don't understand is why is it so bad? People are like, ugh. If it's legal, like if it's legal in some states, not in other states, why is it so, why is it still such a big deal to people? It's legal for a reason. Mm -hmm. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like beer. It's been legal. People, ugh, drink alcohol. It's legal. Like, I know. Welcome to post prohibition, people. The green looks too tough. It's definitely an ice cream. That's awesome, Laura. I didn't know that. I'm sorry, Mary. Hopefully it'll be legal, at least for medical use in all the states soon. That's true. Kelly said, because people need something to complain about. Yeah. It actually kind of looks like that color might be a little... I've heard it does great things for lupus, Crystal. It's legal in the Netherlands. I didn't know that. I know, Lucy, that makes no sense to me. Like, how can a state be like, we're gonna decide it's legal, and then the federal government be like, you better not let us catch you with it. Like, even the states where it's legal, the federal government can still arrest you for it. Dumb, so dumb. Yeah, Mike and Catherine are out of town tonight. So Mitch will be one manning the show. I haven't, Joe Fish. Right, Kelly? I agree completely. What's up, Mallory? I think the negative space might not be so negative when I'm done with this. One thing about it being illegal is you never know if you're smelling a real skunk or just pot in your area. I love when I drive over a skunk. 
<laughs> I, I don't know that I've ever heard I've someone never run, say that. I've never run one over, but when I when I drive over one, I'm like, True man, it'd be sweet to have some stuff that's not like that. You know, back in the day. That sounds awesome, Jumping Bunny. What are your thoughts on the new moose colors? They, uh, they're transparent for pace. They're not really... I was noticing that. It's okay. pretty transparent. I, I, try, I didn't want to use too much because I didn't know how the moose would... I didn't want it to marshmallow it up. Probably, Janine. Yeah, your negative space is... It's not a negative person, maybe. Probably. It's probably exactly what it is. Judy's husband also loves the smell of skunk. Mary said black would look awesome with that. It is very light. It is. Probably getting very thin with all that heat too. Yeah. I'm trying to get the silk, but it's my best. Might be straight and it's better than bring some of that negative in the top. Thanks, Jerry well, I can totally keep that negative space up there yeah. like that. That's what I'm going to do. Can we grab that cup? I was going to uh, let him use those little milk things. Coke things? I'm not sure what that is. The little sand things? Oh, the yellow? Yeah. I like these those better. But then again, if you use them, they're better for boards because you don't get that underneath the board. So, the yeah, spray paint can't move. I didn't even think about that. It is very much like an ink. Daphne yeah, says, I though. feel. I like it. I like to leave that negative. Space. Already that my art space is too small. All I want to do is pour now after finishing my first piece. You have the bug, Daphne. You're now addicted. It's in your veins. It's in your brain. Son of a bitch. Ooh. Beep. <laughs> Beep. Dark blue, not black. I like the green. Jeff, what would you soak an airbrush in if you did what I have? Any idea? Um, well, the only problem with soaking an airbrush in like paint thinner is they have little seals in them that uh, you could you could damage or you could make really weak. Um, I would just get probably like. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would just run some paint center through it. I wouldn't set it. You know, I wouldn't set it in paint thinner, let it um, you know, set in there. Get some uh, go to Home Depot. I, well, you can either probably get it at an auto body shop, which is like a uh, a spray gun cleaning kit where they have little tiny little bristle brushes that you can put through an airbrush. Um, and I, I don't know, I'd have to, I'd have to almost see it. Send us a photo. If it's that crescendo that I had, I had a crescendo. That thing was heavy. Like it was big, bulky and heavy. The rubber seals. Mallory, um, you're ruining paintings because 
you use the heat gun for too long, too much heat, any suggestions on how much heat is needed? I would only use the heat enough to get the resin flowing. If you have a heat gun like ours, you can turn the back of it and it turns the heat up and down to different temperatures. You can even turn the heat basically all the way off by dialing the heat back. And so once you have a really liquid piece, I would just, if you still want to maneuver your resin with the flow of the heat gun, I would just turn all the heat down and just use the cool air to push your resin. Because you're right, once it gets too thin, it may fall all the way off, you may scorch it. It's too broad of a question to say how much heat is needed because there are so many variables, but I hope that helps. It does look like watercolor. Not a paint at all, Jumping Bunny. We're happy to help. Um, Mallory, it would depend on if you want something transparent or opaque, whether you would prefer an ink or paste over pigment powders. Um, it all depends on what look you're going for. If you send me an email with what you're looking to try to replicate or anything like that, I can answer you of what I would use to get a certain look. Kenny Ann Corpy says she's so excited to see you in today's video. Loves your work. Jerry K, yes, Stone Coast Thanks. resin. I'm glad to be seen. Super glassy finish. It just had to piss me off. Kind of ruin a little bit of the flow. You know what's funny? It, it looks cohesive green, on camera. Green looks like it's. I wish I could get that green to move a little more than it just seems more like it was poured there. Yeah. That all looks like it's fading all together. Like you can't even see where that. Uh, that was what I was gonna ask you. That was a pit that yeah. came a pit. Anytime we've used that, I wonder if it's because I sanded too much. Because I sanded okay. with four hundred. But I also did. I also did when I was cleaning, mm -hmm. or when I, I squeezed the rag and didn't know how much alcohol was in it. So I think. In, in the early when I had the when I did the white, yeah. So some of the, huh? Maybe, but I don't know. those edges. I wonder if it's just because. I think maybe because if I sand it, if it's too smooth. I mean, it could act like when you use a gloss, it just doesn't have anything to stick to. Here's a very past, pastel light. Do another coat on the one you painted for you to do and not sand it so much so you don't have a problem. It's very watercolory. Y'all, I wish I could turn the camera around and show you Jeff's breakdancing. He is popping, locking, and dropping. This board is just about like it's the bend and snap. The bend and snap. Yeah, and that's been snap. Ever was in front of the nines. I know well, we saw. Girl trying to pop a balloon. With the bend and snap, <laughs> it was. I have it on video somewhere. Oh, that was great. Add his butterflies to the core. Those are my butterflies. Thanks, Monet. Oh, said thumbs up for Kenny. Okay. Get after it, Linda. Have a great day. Okay, we're on it. I believe in you. Look straight. Hi, Cat Mermaid. What up? It looks great on camera. It's very soft, and on the side view, it's like hella glass. Let me 
What's up, Angie? Yes. Kelly Quincy wants to know if you have a YouTube channel, Kenny. No, I do not because I don't have the setup and I'm not, I'm not like talking. When you I, are a liar. When I don't like people. Like <laughs> earth. I mean, people Breathing. suck. So, um, no, I don't. And I've been asked that and I just... I'm not, I'm not, a, I haven't done it enough to, to be the, to be the teacher. Jeff doesn't like to be called a teacher. Well, it's not that I don't like to be called one, I just don't call myself one. That's the thing. I, 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 what I do is I just think about, I just show you how to do something. I'm not trying to teach you how to do something. That's my deal. I saw a non-gloved hand come in and I was like, he's got two gloves. I have my hands are here. <laughs> the ladies love me. I have three hands. The ladies. Da, da. Did you just put that on yeah, there? Yeah, that's what I was, because there was a little pit that I'm doing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Did you hit it with the film back? I didn't want to do it while you were. You don't want to give them one of these? Yeah. The mark of the resin? Mallory wants to know if we've ever used tattoo ink and resin. Is there a difference in Bombay inks and tattoo inks? There is a difference. They are pigmented differently. Both of them are light fast. We have used it. They work just like an ink. Thank you, Kat. Could Kenny add like a cancer ribbon or something and auction this piece off for a charity of his choice? Just a thought. I did do a, a piece for the auction for the girl that, I did two pieces for the girl that has cancer. One sold for 200, another one sold for 150. Um, That's awesome. I just, um, I'm all about doing stuff for others. <laughs> Like my, my, elementary, Hi, my elementary school has uh, cups in the fence. Oh yeah. Um, and it says others before self. And that I mean that's that's my motto. I had an article done about me last year um, uh, in the Rockwall paper. A bunch of my one of my friends did a, a GoFundMe without me knowing it. Um, and in four days, raised twelve thousand uh, dollars to get me a hand cycle, um, so I could do races. I've had to take a break, but I've done been training. Uh, I've done. I was training for a race at the end of this month, a forty-mile race, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I've done thirty-three miles on the road. And, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I do Welcome, else. Terry. <laughs> roll away. Do you roll have, away. Roll away. Do you have? Do you want coasters? Do you want uh, Star Wars? I've got mermaid tails. I've got <sighs> mustaches, bows. What is it? I've got Star Wars. I've got Pomeranian. Hi, Justine. Love copper. Yeah, it's ridiculously hot here. So we have the air on and the fans on. Squish and twist coasters. 
it would make a pretty murtail, but I don't know if there's enough in there for a murtail. That's awesome, Kenny. It will bring good karma. As a cancer survivor, I can say it is heartwarming and very appreciated from Leslie. Yeah, I, I lost my my dad to brain cancer when I was 14, so uh, cancer has, I lost my grandfather in 09 to cancer, so cancer can EAD. Um, Pretty sure that's bad words. Yeah. It's, uh, you can F cancer too, for all I really care. That um, should be a t-shirt. I'm pretty sure it probably is. It is a tash tag and without the without the F or it's a full word. But yeah, it's I'm a I've lost a lot of friends to cancer and other not or controllable things, but weren't able to control it. So. Um, but I, I know, I know hurt, I know loss. I've been that I've dealt with in my life, just that I've been dealing with. It'll be 13 years, uh, September 2nd, when my accident happened. Uh, accident, as I probably figure all of you are wondering what happened to me while I'm, while I'm in a wheelchair and maybe I look at asked or don't want to ask, but I'm a very open person about me. I'm, uh, I joke about, I'm, I'm a very laughable person about wheelchair jokes or anything like that. I'm, I accept them. I, I welcome them. See if I haven't heard it already, but my reason why I'm in a wheelchair is I was in Puerto Vallarta for Labor Day. And I don't remember any of it, but uh, I fell five stories off a hotel balcony um, and broke two bones in my back and separated my skull from my spine. So I'm lucky that first off to be alive, but that I have complete upper body use um, when I was, uh, I went to Baylor Rehab, I was in there and they were doing the go around and tell your story. A lady before me told hers and, uh, she was on a two step stool and fell off of it and broke her neck. And so, and she was a quadriplegic. So... I had, of course, I had to be the next story, and I'm not the one-up guy or anything, okay. but, oh so, so I was like, well, um, I'll see your two feet. I, I see your two steps you. and raise you uh, five see. stories. Uh, my friends weren't around. But I, went, I met some other people. They said they saw me on the balcony at one point. They looked back. I wasn't there, and uh, next thing you know, I had a glimpse, didn't know it at the time, a glimpse of getting put on the Learjet, the care flight Learjet to fly me back to Dallas. And then I remember waking up after surgery, the scariest moment in my life of, uh, had my arm strapped down, I couldn't see because I was in surgery for 10 hours on my stomach, so all the fluid had gone to my eyes, so I couldn't see. Uh, and you know, when you, the last thing you remember is being able to do everything and not in pain to waking up strapped down, can't see worst pain of your life. I just remember screaming for my mom. And then the next thing I remember is everybody had a hotel or not a hotel, a hospital room filled with 60 people and more out the door on my 25th birthday, uh, which is September 10th, and I always joked, literally, no lie, I always joked that I wouldn't make it to my 25th birthday, and almost uh, came through with that story, but I didn't. I'm here. I, uh, 
took me a while to get to where I am now, to be in the right state of mind and everything, but that's what I am, and I'm, I luckily have a good uh, friends behind me to keep me here, and keep me keep me sane, and it's the only reason I'm still here, honestly. So uh, it's crazy. Last year when I was you know, speaking of doing the hand cycle, where I was doing my first road ride with the Rockwall cycle crew, and this guy pulls up next to me and says, uh, "Hey man, you mind if I ask uh, what happened?" And I was like, "Yeah, no." Uh, I kind of thought, thought for a second and. Like, wait a second, is today the second? It's like, yeah. Man, 12 years ago today was when my accident happened. And if you would have told me, you know, while I was in the hospital that 12 years later I would be on a hand cycle doing a 33-mile ride, uh, I would have laughed you or I would have asked if you were hitting my button on the morphine first off. Uh, but, like I said, it wasn't an easy road to get to where I am, and I've done a lot of stuff the hard way, but I'm here, and I luckily have met a lot of cool people because of it, and it's made my art more of what it is. I've, um, I've learned, I put my heart into my art, into my friendship and everything, so it's, everybody always tells me I wear my heart on my sleeve, and um, a tattoo's coming that kind of that way, but I don't have any room on my arms or on my sleeve area anymore, so I got to figure out another place. But. The struggle, struggle of running out of room to put tattoo. So yeah, that's my story. Not to be like a Debbie Downer or anything, but more of a. No, don't let anything keep you from what you want to do. Everybody's very inspired by your story, and some can relate. Keep on keeping on, like Joe Dirt says. Keep on keeping on. Can't have going in your heart. Life's a wheelchair. Push it. <laughs> <laughs> so t tell me this. If you... Were you into, before your accident, were you into any kind of art? You just drew or? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I was, I've always been, a, I remember watching my dad when I was a kid, be on, you know, when he was at work. My desk calendar at work is like, I had Disney characters drawn, Google, on, yeah. drawn on it. Um, uh, but I remember my dad would just be on the phone talking business and just doodling on his, on his desk calendar. Uh, so yeah, I've always done, uh, I took art and whenever, it was that year that everybody had to choose an elective. And I chose art, all the cool kids chose choir. Oh yeah. I should have chose choir, because I, I, I ended up doing choir the next year and uh, I could, back then I could be a bass all the way to a soprano. Uh, I was able to sing. I've been in musicals to, nice. have, uh, my senior year, I was the lead in Bye Bye Birdie. Uh, I was in Singing in the Rain and uh, uh, um, Wizard of Oz in high school. And so, I, but I did art in sixth grade, and the, it was the teacher ruined it for me, and I never took art again. Uh, I wish I would have taken art classes. Everything that I've learned. Uh, Art-wise, is from watching YouTube. Like I learned how to draw cartoon characters, yeah. watching the Disney uh, guy uh, do the circle and finding the center and have your shape, and I built that from there. And yeah. Then, uh, but my, I've always, but I've always been an artist. Trash uh, can. More gloves. Yeah. Um, did you take your color Yes, and no. But it's funny, my I did a drawing for my mom, and the night before Christmas, I I'm a procrastinator, and I I wanted to do calligraphy writing. 
I bought this calligraphy book and I just looked at it and I tested some letters and I drew I did calligraphy writing that night on the drawing and then I sprayed it and wrapped and everything and the next day you know I gave it to my mom and my cousin and asked me so like how long have you been doing calligraphy? I'm like, oh last <laughs> last night I, I looked at this book and she, she told me she goes, You're so talented you make me sick. And that was her exact words. So I I try new things and I, I find that everything I try I end up being able to do. So I'm actually in the process right now uh, talking to some people and some friends on what it's gonna take for me to Go back to school and possibly, and I want to become a art teacher for kids. Uh, I've always been good with kids. Um, I have many nieces and nephews that I spoil to death, but uh, I, I want to be that sixth grade teacher that doesn't ruin the art for, the art for somebody that could have could have done more down the road. Um, so. And I think that they tell kids that there's a right and wrong way to art. Yeah, I was real bad about that. No, but what I was what I was going to ask is, before you got into doing, is the reason was there a reason that you just watched YouTube videos, like when you you get in your wheelchair and you said this is what I'm going to have to do while I'm busy? It was when I was I I, I got sick and I was on bed rest for eight months. I was in the hospital for five months and then on bed rest for eight months. And while I did that, and I never did color with marker. So I started messing around with marker, messing around with that, and then I said watching YouTube. And this last, I said I had surgery last, uh, September 11th actually, and it left me uh, on bed rest for a, a couple months. And that's when I found Melly. Yeah. Uh, started watching her videos and the wormhole of, right. uh, of going, you know, as soon as you open up that one, there's right. the other ones below <laughs> it. And, and then you have questions, so you're like, I don't find it question this. So, I mean, as soon as, I was, as soon as I was able to get up and um, start painting, I had built up a, I'd already started painting a while back, but I didn't have all, like, the different core stuff, the mediums, the... Uh, the flow trawl, the, the Liquitex uh, pouring mediums, and which ones? So buying all those, but yeah, it was it was being on bed rest and watching those what got me through that and that. Uh, would you would you do you think you would be doing this before your accident? No, no, not at all. Uh, I would. I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this accident. It was not if this accident slowed me down, but. Um, the, it, uh, everything that I've been through, like I said, being on the bed rest and stuff, not being able to go out and do stuff, it's, that's where my, I, I got a, a board next to my bed that I just turn over and I'll, I'm coloring with Prisma pencils and I'm, I'm teaching myself to color with Prisma pencils mm -hmm. and it was all that time spent laying down and it was art that really got me through all that and I couldn't wait for the chance to get up and start putting it to use. Gotcha. And said so I started with Melly and kinda of grew from there and then I ran across you guys and after been doing acrylic pours forever. Uh, Let's see. and I had like I said I had a canvas in the resin uh, um, and Virotex resin sitting there on the table for like two weeks. The canvas was prepped. Uh -huh. I had the colors and everything picked out and everything, but yeah, you told I us never, you were like, mm -hmm. yeah, I was like, no, I'm still not ready. Right 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 now. Now. I'll see you no, in a Not today, not today. <laughs> uh, one one o'clock in the morning, I decided, you know what, F it, let's, let's do this. Let's do and, it's um, time. I got up and I did it and uh, it sold. Uh, my first resin piece sold. And, uh, That's uh, so rad. It's 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 addicting. I said all the. 
it's so much more fun than acrylic pour, uh, just because of all the depth and everything that you can do with it. You know, it can, you know, like I said, the cells. You don't want it too busy, but you can stare at the depth of those cells forever. Yeah, you know, they're you know, some of them are like the abyss. Just the instant color. I mean, like as, soon as, as soon as amazing. it hits, as soon as that hits and that cell happens, you know, it's kind of like on alcohol. If you, I mean, not um, acrylic pours, if you spray the canvas with a uh, diluted soap, and you see like the the action that happens right then, it's that same thing, but with resin, it happens right away. Right. And it's it's just so much more fun. And, I have I've done a few acrylic pours for some commission pieces, but really it's just in resin. I've got I bought the wrong uh, the wrong resin, not knowing there was a art coat. Right. I bought the gallon of stone coat, and then you guys were doing a pour oh, with the yeah. art coat, and I was like, oh man, there's an art coat. Yeah. Uh, does this work, work on canvas still? So I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna use it on some MDF boards. Uh, uh, that I want to do it on, um, but uh, so that's what I'm going to use it on. But I just used the last of my art resins. So I've used Envirotex. I use art resin. I'm using. I've just used art coat for the first time. It was totally different. It, it moved differently, mm -hmm. and you know, I was, I was so used to. So it moved fast on me. I wasn't expecting on how it moved and everything, but. Um, so like I said, I, I mean, I have a bunch of canvases. It's just the prepping. That's the, the that's why I like the glass. When I poured in that glass for the first time, I just pulled it out of a old frame. The way it turned out, and all I had to do was just clean it with alcohol instead of sand, paint, yeah. sand, mm -hmm. paint. And I, I do all this at my dining table. I finally got it cleared after four years of painting at this table. I've actually got it organized. Now I bought bed and bath and beyond baskets. I found time on Saturday. I was going to say, you found I, time, I found to time go. on Saturday to go to bed. You're the one. You're the one guy <laughs> that's found time to go. I didn't need any ceiling fans at Home Depot. So um, I just, you know. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but yes, yeah, so I finally got it all organized, and I've got space for to do some of those. Everybody liked that uh, small four by uh, four by twelve three piece set that I did, the black one that has blue at the top, and I did that, and that one that sold uh, right away. Um, so I want to do that on some ten by twenty canvases that set next to each other, so I have some bigger areas to work with. So I just need I need a drying safe space area yeah and it sucks for me too i can't like carry it to a spot and roll at the same time gotcha so it, i just cover it up with like i said like i was telling you my my blick art boxes that i bought the big frames and gotcha i cover it with those and hope hope when i take it off the next day that it uh it's graphite. I thought it was charcoal. Well, it's not necessarily charcoal, but a lot softer. I was hoping it would be See, a I've lot always, darker. I've always been a, not good with the pencils. I mean, that's why I want to. I've, it's time. I've watched YouTube's on the pencil work too, and how to use them and the different uh, hardness and stuff like that. But I want to use some pencil stuff. I've done one of a friend that sent me a picture wearing a stormtrooper hat or helmet. Yeah. Uh, that I worked on that came out kind of cool, but still one. I said I, I get I find myself doing one thing and I do it a bunch uh, for a while and then I get tired of it and then I move on to something new and uh, I said my I do that with my art all the time where I've done pieces that uh, I start with a blank piece of paper and I make it look like stained glass and it takes forever because my OCD of my how my marker strokes they yeah. all have to go in the same direction so it takes forever yeah um, but uh, but I love it so. cat mermaid says I use the oven as my dust free zone 
But then again, I can't cook, so it's, it's part of it. So at least something good comes out of the oven? Right? Do you think you'd get away with paintings being on the ironing board? Well, I don't see why not. As long as it's level, Christine. What's up, Jeff? Welcome back, Rusty. So it looks like Jeff's getting extra arty today for y'all. I love the I love it already. Using these boards. Yeah, that's look at on camera you can get a better angle of that. That's what I've always wanted to spend more time to put into pencil work. Books on, you just gotta keep trying, you know, with pencil work and stuff like that. You just gotta keep doing it. Yeah. The fun thing with charcoal, this is not, this is more, what, this is lead, graphite sticks. Charcoal is so forgiving. Like you could, you could take a piece of charcoal and put a, a hard dark line and take one of the needed erasers and erase the entire thing. You never even know it's there. That's the fun part. The I wanted with the, doing faces and eyeballs and stuff. It's so forgiving. Like the kneading eraser. I you know the. I guess that's what it's called. The kneading eraser. Those things are. That's his favorite. Messing, kind of messing with those. It just turns into like gum. So these are all different hardness in this case. Is that what these it's are? It's all the different bees, probably. I, th I think those are just. That's. It's all graphite. Just one. It's solid. all the same. Yeah. I think I might have one in here. What is this? Oh, this is a 6B. Graphite 6B. It doesn't say which. Are they the same royal? Yeah. Taddy, um, if you buy from stuff. Amazon from our link, it doesn't have to be something that we tagged. As long as our link sent you to Amazon, then we get credit for it. Thank you for asking. Same, Kelly. Like, you can... Oh my god, that's gonna give so oh, much that I don't define. And you can feel how how soft that is. I don't know that. But pupils really jump too. Roger says I pour on top of the cooker so then it's microwave meals for a day and a half. I've, we've seen a couple people that pour in their kitchens. The sofa. Yeah, sofa. Um, just yeah, showing off right now, be over here. And see, that's what I love about it. It's a subtle, it's that subtle line underneath. Oh, that's awesome. Kelly, come to YouTube before you go to Amazon. Just use our link to get there and then we get credit. Eyelashes. <laughs> Always do the shadows first. You can do these huge shadows where the eyelashes come. Yeah, it's working the nose. It's always been my hard. Oh, the nose is no joke. It's hard. That's where these guys come in too. Yeah. Soft, subtle, just that's what I that is and hands. Hands are yeah. my other kryptonite of trying to work with pencil. Yes. I love oh my God, that's even softer. I love doing <laughs> carpet. It's like a, an oil or a oil pastel. It's just what it seems like. This is just a straight the chalk. Pastel, That's real soft. Pastel. I love doing like the uh, Disney princess eyes. Mm -hmm. Those are the eyes of the definition of those. That and the um, the uh, it's got a name, but it's the anime. The anime eyes, but I can't. Um, Low, no key, low 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 key, it's not the same. Yeah, it's such a, a weird. I don't like it. I don't like these little clean to be racers. 
I'm linking the also, graphite and get, needed erasers. Yeah. Remember penny erasers? Like they used to be on the end of paint. Uh -huh. like, we were, oh, we were just talking about that. Such day. a coarse one that they never it's never perfect. worked for the pen, uh, but they actually uh, there's a what's it called? Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a it's a gel pen, but they're supposed to be erasable. I remember and, those. But now these new ones have. Apparently they come out that they've come out with my buddy at work was telling me about we're because we're big pin freaks on what we, uh, the G2 point post the point oh seven is what we have to use. Yeah. What kind of board was this? A really cheap board from. Uh, I think it was Birch, Angie. But it works though, unless you let it set. Did I? Is this the side I painted? I think you painted both sides. Nope. Oh, Patty, um, he's probably going to end up pouring over this, I'm assuming, since it's a, a, such a low start. Like, the eyes are so low, I'm pretty sure he's going to end up pouring on this piece. What you need to do is just put a hint of where this dart goes. It's just like resin. You can always add, you can't take away. There's so much depth in that already, B. You're out of control. I think so, Val. <laughs> it looks like. Oh, that's right there. I know that. One eye looks like it's looking at that one. One awesome artist at work. My brain is singing temptation eyes. My brain is singing private eyes. You're gonna give them pointers on lashes. Shading. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't plan on doing this, so I'm not like. I don't know. <laughs> no, he's using a reference on his phone. I think they're like tune eyeballs. It's it's not really necessarily tune, but it's it's definitely bigger than the normal eye. I like drawing like wide open. Exactly, Monet. Fran, I was exactly thinking Ariel's eyes. Like, if he does, like, underwater hair with resin, it's uh, going to be bananas. My cartoon crush. <laughs> I love, I'm a Disney, I'm a Disney kid. I love me some Ariel. Jumping Bunny wants to know who else out there in the ATD fam is doing art at the moment as well. Just says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. With a little, yep. Confirm, you, confirm, confirm, confirm. He's confirming all of your requests. Can you clear resin over charcoal? I, I, that's what I'm going to try. We're going to test it. I'm pretty sure we need to still do a clear over it, like a spray. Hopefully one of these is I'm just gonna the, try it. I don't even wanna the random follow that snuck in well, from the actual people that are actual people and they're it's always get those random people that 
Portia that wants to follow me from Israel. Yeah. She's real. She's for sure real with her three booty pictures. Camera May says, I'm not arguing, I'm just waiting on a failure to dry. Me too, Joyce. You need me. Something I can go find for you? Oh, hey. I didn't know that was not on silent. Better doing eyelashes with a hairbrush than I am with filling them. Living expression is waiting on varnish to dry, but getting inspired. Love red hair. Redheads are the best when they're not stealing souls. Loopy Lou, I'm here watching for my art table, mixing up a fresh batch of gesso for a painting I started yesterday. I knew. I want to put lettering on here. I want to put some like. I don't. Let's stay on task. You get a color There's no that? task. <laughs> There's no. I didn't. I just started like just to, just to do it. There's no plan. Yeah. Just. Go. Which is weird for him because he never doesn't have a plan. The wave of oh, the hand over the how he, before he pours. I get his pre pour. How am I gonna how am I gonna lay it? How am I gonna hand go? Hi Beyond. I'm gonna go home and watch this later and critique myself on yeah, what did he have shake voice there? I think he had shake voice there. I didn't notice Shake Voice. Laura Taylor says, tell Jeff it's awesome he's sharing all types of his artistic skills with us. Much preach. But sometimes I just I just don't want to do resin sometimes. Yep, it does. This is like... Nicole says, just got here. Killer eyes, Jeff. They are 13 each. I'm going to have to do math right now. 39? Bian wants to know if you have any tips for beginner drawers. Um, if you don't think it matters, do it. If you think it's going to take a long time, do it. It's all worth it. Just start putting the pen or pencil to paper and yes. let your mind take it from there. Living Expression says the creativity of YouTube is through the roof on this channel. Love it. Hi, Kate. Wait till we start.
having time to actually do all the other artwork that we do. Right. <laughs> we actually don't do Y'all are going to be like, holy cow, what are they doing over there? Mara became a grandmother this morning for the first time. Congratulations. Beyond just pick up a pencil and put it to paper. It's all easy. So here's what I'll, I'll, for that person that was asking about what to do with art, this is what I'll show how this started. And I didn't know what I was doing when I started it. Yeah. Hold on, let me get out of your way here. You're fine. I'm just trying to reduce the glare. Okay. All right. So this is on a nine by twelve piece of paper, and it started with just this little. There's a little curve. You can't see it because of the glare, but there's a tiny little curve that I started, and. There, yeah. If you look at it right, it all straight out for a second. It's my Sorry. shake hand with combination, but there's I there's an outline of my hand in it. Yeah, there you go. So there's all of memories and everything of just little pictures and designs and. And that one I started when I was in college. I started with just a little curve on a piece of paper, and that was back in my um, grass days. <laughs> uh, but those those are the ones that take forever. I didn't know what I was doing, and one day I started it, and I would just sit down. Uh, Hit old blue and uh, start using my pen. Old blue. Old pen blue. Name. Old blue that we brought home from Colorado. Back in my quad C college days. I'm sure he hasn't done any airbrushing for a while, which I think he should put at least a day into pulling it out. Margaret says you're so good. Let me start to say it's awesome. Um, he's actually planning on pulling airbrush out soon. I have to pull it out and go finish that mural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, that one big one. Did you finish it? Is that the one here? Yeah, I have to get to finish that. That's Where is that one at? It's in Deep Ellum in, in a place called On Premise, on the patio, on the back patio. On Premise. Is that where the, the, uh... Well played, Kelly. The, what's the front end? Was it a, it's a Kelly front end or a Lincoln front end? Feel the better, Fran. Oh, Paul, there you go. That, yeah. Yeah. That, is that one there, too? Or is that a... It's an opposite wall of the uh, Aztec one. Same, Trudy. Just start out with a 2B, Beyond. Agreed, Bam. And that's what's fun about it. You get you so dirty, and you could just do like shadows. Like you could just do.
What colors did you pick up, Kenny? It was almond and what other ones? Uh, almond, blue, sapphire, and uh, yellow swallow. Um, aluminum. That's right. It's updating inventory. Sorry, y'all. I'll show you what he's doing in a second. Never mind. There he goes. For which? For what? The email. Thornton at Artisan Web. Okay. Two T's, two L's. Same, Kelly. Yep, it's just practice. When people ask Jeff where he learned to draw, he always says, Math and English class. Math and English class. Exactly, beyond. That's true. Angie's right. College takes precedence. Is so talented and patient. This is what's fun to me. Just doing stuff that I never do. I think he is going to add resin to this piece, though, y'all. So hang out if you got time. Yeah, sorry if you guys uh, just expected to see some presents on you. Just like, God, I, Kenny. Got, I didn't. I really didn't think I was going to start doing this. Hopefully, my poor right, Laura, held you over. You can oh, see the master Jeff at work. Well, I'll let. At first, I wanted to just. Try to draw some eyes and see what it would look like. But whenever I start using sharp, yeah. it just, just it takes yeah. over. Like I, yeah. and I just like. That's why I told him stick with the plan. Because he'll like deviate. When did you guys get here? I've been. Uh, I forgot you guys were here. <laughs> he'll do that. He'll black out. What is Jeff drawing with right now? Hold up. You're on, Lucy. This is a, a number eight. Uh, what are these called? Like blender? Blender. Yeah, they're blenders. Blender, yeah. Just a, but what I've done, like, they come pretty pointed. Like, um, I like to smash it down. Get it. Like, I have one in here that I just demolished. Like, you can make them kind of what you want, so you can have them a, a good blender. It's just basically a, rolled a, up paper. They're yeah, all like super so rolled many up different paper. size tips that you can use. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. Like, look, look at the difference. I'm adding some to the Amazon. Like, I'm seeing lines. I'm seeing those lines that Jared does. Those, like, Kind 
I'm confused. This is a magic show. Well, ATD fam, I am going to go before Dallas traffic gets crappy. So I can get back to Rockwall before getting back to Rockwall gets crappy. Because Rockwall traffic sucks. Especially now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before all the crazies get out on the road. That's why I go to work and get up there at 5 and I leave at 2. I don't think so, Laura. So, I don't know what camera's on, but I'm going to wave. <laughs> Dallas traffic all is there. Yeah, you're up here. Everyone's glad to meet you. Everybody, do nice meeting y'all. See you on the chat. And this is me. This is Kenny. Look at this. I rolled away saying bye. <laughs> he said bye. I rolled by. Don't get hyped. Man. I rolled by. What did you say the bad was? Oh, yeah. yeah. The big sticks. Don't Kenny wants to take home some big sticks. sticks. They're delicate. Be delicate with the big stick. Be delicate with the big sticks. They can't handle a lot. <laughs> but it's. Shh. We'll walk him to the door because I know he goes up yet. Height. How many moves? Wow. Let me change the camera for all the ends. Well, thanks for having me. It was thanks our pleasure, over, dude. Man. Sir, I'll uh, come back by sometime and grab the crazy one there. Literally anytime. Also, I can do So what did you, that's what I meant to ask, what did you use, what are these? That is clear and, uh, I mean, uh, glitter. yeah, glitter, what, what is that, uh, is that in the baggies? They are, I try to get away from blue, but blue, all blue is my favorite color, and right. I can't help it. Can't stop blue. Can't stop All right, see y'all kids later. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yes, sir, thanks for having me. I'll see y'all coming by again.
Okay, this is such a good song. You guys like Tool or Perfect Circle? Ah. It's Imagine by Perfect Circle. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Um, that was just Pandora. I'm, I'm listening to Pandora. Um, but Perfect Circle is the band. Uh, he's also the lead singer of the band Tool. And he also has another band uh, called Pussifer. Uh, and, what? Yeah, you heard that right. But it's not the bad word. Is it an app? Have you considered doing art therapy at one of their rehab facilities? What is that? There you go. I kind of came up with another way to do these uh, things. You see, you're kind of like... I don't know how you get these things so freehand and even space. Like, you, you're... I don't know. Because it's all, it's all in a rhythm. Like, if you, if you think about it, you're, you're drawing a line. You put a pressure on the line and it's one pressure. If you take off that pressure, you're, you're going to get gaps. So then you could do that. Like, it's it's all pressure. It's all pressure and it's all movement in your arm. Yeah. Living expressions, we don't have any music playing. It's in his headphones. <laughs> She's like, what? I don't hear the music. <laughs> Am I going crazy? Am I eating crazy pills over here? Yeah, we can't play music. YouTube will get mad. YouTube will definitely get mad. Like, right now, we could probably play it, but we couldn't post this video. They would pull it for copyright. Yeah. We can also erase those and then just start another one. Bye, Bian. I'll get to it beyond promise. He could sing to us. Y'all don't want your ears to bleed, so I'm gonna lift that. That's cool living. You guys are really great. Talk about giving back. Bye, beyond. So you're basically just drawing with. It. Dust from yes, and that's what I love. I love to do this. Like it's so subtle, and then you just you just keep darkening and darkening. That's how that's how I'm really enjoying doing my portraits these days. 
Swan wants to know what you dab the blender in to make it darker. This is a piece of charcoal. I don't know what, uh, it's gotta be the darkest kind. I actually think this is darker and I, this is like crazy, like, like there's no reflection on this in the light. Like, this is like the darkest dark. It's oh, not there's gonna, a reflection. It's not gonna focus. No. Hi, Roger. Agreed living. I have a starving. Y'all, he almost never draws without a reference. He is in doodle mode. Doodle mode. Nicole said I can watch this all day. Laura Taylor says the square one is compressed charcoal. The other is not. Yes. I think the other one is like willow or... This is super... It's aerated. It's one of my old ones from college, I think. Look at that. This this is darker than this. I think it is a soft charcoal. Yeah. I mean, you could. it's pretty light. It doesn't feel dense, and it's super... Like, I'll draw something here. He is in doodle mode. Is it date night for y'all? Yep. Yep. Very inappropriate movie at the movie theaters. It's not going to be dirty movie theater. It's the, <laughs> what was it, murder, happy time murders? Happy time murders. Compressed charcoal can be harder to erase. That makes sense. Getting a wrap on me. It's ten oh two here in the night at the UK. It is Taco Tuesday. Um I'm glad you stopped in, Frankie. Can you use a regular white eraser or do you have to use a putty? Um, you can, but uh, it's a it's a very, uh, well, it's hard to explain. A regular eraser, uh, it might smear, it'll erase it, but then it'll smear it because it builds up on the eraser and it'll just, it'll give you a really hard just edge um, and then it'll smear. This will I mean, you could run this through charcoal. It'll build up on it a little bit, but you can, I mean, you can erase a whole negative space um, and you can clean this, but this has been in charcoal. So this is, this is like very dirty. See how it gets lighter? You just keep doing that and it cleans it. Wow. Um, Date nights are important. Agreed. Even if it's just PJs and a movie. And then there's this one. A whole a, a penny racer. But man, you could really get... Like, if you need, like, really quick, fast... <laughs> the 
just whatever you prefer. I noticed that Moo kept talking to you last night. Was he upset? He was. He was just in a mood. Like any child. Sometimes they're more needy than others. What are you air drawing? Are you air dancing? Oh, no. Oh. So what, are you ready to no, it just, I thought it and then therefore I said it. It looks like you're going to make these like ornate horns. Like, it even looks like it on this camera. Yeah. It looks like you're going to have like. Swan said thanks, Jeff. He is moo in a mood. And I don't know where he is right now. He's probably getting into something he shouldn't be. That's also something he does when he's in a mood. Fresh. Austin awesome Sawyer's coming over here now. you to finish your doodle. I, I'll survive. I'm not like getting a headache hungry. I just noticed. I'm just. I want you to finish that because I know if you don't do it right now, you're not going to. Well, so. Laura Taylor, where did you get the moo mold? I think it was Amazon. Pretty sure that's where I got it sent to us from, from her. Hi, Ms. You're adorable. I'm go lay down. Those antlers are fires. Y'all haven't seen him airbrush. I'm pretty sure if you go way back in our our post, you'll see some of his airbrush work, like the Lucy and the Marilyn Monroe and the Audrey and What Have I Done and a couple other airbrush things. But this dude does the best eyes and the best hair and the best face. I can't even. Hope that piece of song in your home is simply gorgeous. I've been painting and drawing to find my resin addiction. It's a vicious cycle. Unicorn horns. I don't have my three little dogs anymore. It makes my night when I see Moo each night. Oh, well, he's right here. Come here, pupper. Come here. Such a big bear. Just want to say hi to everybody real quick. I know it. Oh, no. And then, just so now I get to hear. Wait, wait, wait. I got a transition. What's up, El Spicy? This is my mom and my stepdad's wedding song. Baby Moon, Baby Moon, does whatever Baby Moon's do. Watercolor is a beast, Kelly. Swan, who says hi. Be your shading on that looks like 
you had a complete plan and it's amazing. <laughs> Look how fun. I've had him since he was a little too tiny and baby moved up. All of a pound. You and your coffee, Joe Fish. He cuddles when he needs something, and that's the only time. Mm -hmm. Any other time he's like, Don't touch me. Put me down, but pet me. Want more and less blankets. More and less blankets. I sing to my pups too their own songs. They all get wiggle buddy on me. Um, he has a few theme songs that I'll sing to him. He also has like 78 nicknames. Legends, icons, U A D T guys rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you still planning to do resin on that? <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. I forgot I was like. It originally was just. Um, I was just going to put eyes on it and then put resin over it just to see. And, and now it's a I complete adventure. I really still think you should sure resin it when you're done. Whatever that is. Nicole says, love me some baby kisses now, Erica, lol. He's small and perfect lap pooch. He does not like the laps. He's like, it's hot. I'm going to go hang out on the AC then. Barb says, sounds like my cat. Pet me, but only when I want you to. Didn't you have a brat cat? Wasn't one of your cats a brat cat? Not really brat. Yes, I think resin on that would be bananas. I agree, and it's it would be a test to see how well the charcoal will hold up under resin. What does it do? Nicole has one that loves cuddles and the other is Brad. I don't blame Moo, that's a lot of fluff. He has a grooming appointment coming up on the 11th. I wonder how resin would look over a scratch board. I don't see why it wouldn't work over a scratch board. Have a great dinner, Swan. Thanks for joining. Could you use transparent resin colors? You could drop some ink in it and color it that way. My idea for a test, he'll probably do his own thing, but I just want to know what resin does when it's introduced to charcoal. Will it pick? Will it smudge the charcoal? Well, I know it didn't. Will it fade? Uh, this is why, because I'm listening to so much different music right now, I'm just like getting into like, I don't want to stop listening to this. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's going to be unicorn horn or a duo corn horn. It doesn't look like he's added the other one. I don't know if he's going to. Lay down no, it's okay. Is that a stump that Jeff is using to draw with? It's a, uh, 
it's a blender, like a paper blender, and he keeps rubbing it on a compressed charcoal. OMG, that laugh is so fun. I love to hear people laugh. Nicole, he has like 48 different laughs. And while I do exaggerate a lot, I think even he would tell you that he has a lot of them. I have different laughs. <laughs> It does have a Maleficent vibe. Y'all, I wonder if I have it in my phone, the last Maleficent he did. Cha cha cha. Oh, blending stump. Angelina's Art Studio, thank you. Thank you. I just want to show y'all his Maleficent. What size of this piece? I want to say 16 by 20. Oh, no. God. That's a 36 by 48. Yeah, sure it's huge. And you don't even have the whole picture. Like the whole picture is not even in there. Mm -mm. That's not even done. That, that particular picture. Yeah, I think there was more detail in that. Good. I just love it. <clears throat> from jail or something. Hi, Sherry. Cherry? Oh, y'all. The eyes that he does, just hold on. Let me just brag. Just, I have to show you guys. Oh, get man. What? Focus. I appreciate it, Angelina. Anybody a friend of Frankenstein? See, if we had those on the computer, you could just put them on the computer. No, I'll mix them in. This one's actually on YouTube. I re they said that they love that I'm your biggest cheerleader. She is. She's always been my big cheerleader. Biggest cheerleader. Push you out of that chair. <laughs> he did one of me too. Whoop, whoop. 
Love his eyes. Everyone should go to his ATD page and look at the gallery. What's Jeff using for the eyes? Oh, what are you using? Pastel? Y'all, I could go on, but you're missing the art, so I'm just going to. Does he have models for the eyes, or did he do them out of his head? He used his photo reference. I could go on for days about how fan I am of his work. Right, Jumping Bunny? My dog's name is Audrey for Hepburn. Aww. I just have to show them your one of your pet portraits. Oh. Pet portrait is the hardest portrait to do. Pet portrait and kids. Eyes and hands are the hardest to draw. Agreed. One day I'm going to get him to draw a moo. One day. Would you guys be interested in watching him do like a tutorial on like, let's say how he draws eyes or something like that? Is that... Well, I, I know that we do a lot of, but if you like you're doing a portrait, could just say what you're doing for now. If it'll be distracting, we don't have to do that. Jeff, uh, can you draw my girls? They are cute, by the way. LOL. Wow. What? He hasn't drawn Moo? Are you serious? Moo is so difficult. You guys understand. He's just a puffball. He likes to draw short hair dogs because you can see muscle definition, whereas Cujo is just I mean, electricity. Like, obviously, in that, like that, uh, that bulldog, he's got so much texture in his mouth and his eyes. And Cujo just has, he has zero definition. And then he has the spots, so I don't think it would translate that well to. Um, to uh, art, but I mean, I, I just, I just have to get a good photograph that I could draw that I could use. Everybody says even if you don't talk your way through it, they would love to watch. Yeah. I mean, you got eighty people in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Drawing me would have been a first date criteria. We just drew exactly, Amy. Possibly jumping. Never really done like days of lives. That looks good. My friend Cameron, back in high school, his eyes were crazy, like, like crazy weird green, like, with these really crazy, like, almost orange. And he always wanted to have a competition. I'm like, dude, what in the world? Jeff, you have to try Please Moo and Erica would love it. He was just for. No, it's just eyes and puff. I'm not what sure, Jumping Bunny. You? Can you send it again? I, show I painted you. I showed them your me. Which one? No. 
that the one on the wall. You brought it over there to show you? Now I had a picture of it. Why would Jeff do anything else other than draw? He's a master artist. Pamela wants to know what about horses. I did a horse before. Um, Libby wants to know what kind of word it is. It's just a birch panel, I think, that he... I don't think it's birch because it warps. Maybe it's cedar. Basswood or something, maybe? That he primed with white, flat house paint and sanded. Hi, Annie. Um, Jeff is just doodling. We poured earlier, and now he's using charcoal, pastels, and graphite. Same, Lori and Nicole. Yeah, basso, basswood. I'll show that in a little bit, Kelly. That's awesome, Sherry. Jeff learned on his own that art teachers try endlessly to get students to get, and that is just to see. No thinking, just see. Yeah, Jeff tells me all the time, just see it and draw it. And I'm like, no. Because I don't think I have the ability to not idealize things. But you're right, Laura. Don't think about it. Just draw what you see. Just draw it. Is it an oil pastel? Um, no, it's just a or a pastel. It's just these guys. These are the best. I mean, not the best, but I, I love using these. They're real cheap. I'll link them in the Amazon if they're there. Um, and you get like tons of. I use these a lot to do chalkboards. These are perfect to do chalkboards. You can see I like. Sharpen them. Let's put some of those colors in them. They're really nice colors. They're chalk pastels. Yeah, they're like, they're very, um. They're yeah, really they're $16.49 on Amazon for $48. Yeah, they're super cheap. Just linked. Nicole says, Erica, you have some incredible photos of Jeff Jeff's work. I'm glad you shared and bragged. I do it all the time. <laughs> I love to show off his work. I think he's the most talented person. I believe that she liked my work when I first met her. And that's kind of like rare. Because I'm always like, who are you? What do you want? <laughs> what, what? Who sent you? That was our joke for the longest. Who sent you? Mm -hmm. I've always been a fan. This is a link to the gallery. How do you seal a charcoal drawing? If it's on, if it's on white, you can just use a, a charcoal sealer, like a matte spray. You can use a matte clear spray paint. Yeah. I have, look at this, I have... What's up, Kenny? <laughs> five colors, six colors. Thanks, Lori. It. It's just fun. Like, it's just... Would it be easier for you if I flipped it? No, no. I'm just digging it. I like these neons. I wonder if they would glow. No, this one just doesn't glow. 
rendered UV? Well, it's not neon. It's not fluorescent. But try. That's awesome, artifacts. Congratulations. Rats. Crunk rats. Crunk rats. Crunk rackets. Like Ron Burgundy said, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Night, Val. Looks like a candy button nose. Y'all, that's some of Jeff's trademarks. These little deals. It's a little. If your art made a sound, that's what would happen when you did those. Thins. Nailed it. That looks so fun. You're drawing out of focus. But this eye is in focus. I was going to ask that you, what are y'all's trademark drawings? For me, I do the lip pieces. I just do. Um, and Jeff's trademark is hair and eyes for sure. Nicole says, Jeff, I love your drawing. Thanks for showing us. You can't even draw a friggin' house. I got to have a ruler, so. Yeah. Hi, Allie. Good morning. Thanks, Nicole. Hi, Deborah Cox. What are you guys doing? Teresa yeah, says, can I say magnifique? Um, no, he doesn't do tattoos. He's done four ever. And just... He prefers airbrush and other mediums to tattooing. Maybe when I turn 50, I'll start tattooing. Stop tattooing! Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to sing for y'all in BD. Can you see where my hair is down like this? Yeah, I just transitioned over to Lucy. Hi, Crystal Dawn. That's awesome, Kelly. I love ocean creatures. I tried out an octopus once and got lost. Now, you guys know what, what it did for me? We went to the graffiti yard. And she drew a sea turtle with spray paint. And I was like, you are full of S-H-I-T if you've never used spray paint before. And I know she has. She just hasn't thought it that she used it before. I used it as a color, not to draw anything. But she drew it. And I was like, okay, well, see, it's a serious one. 
Hmm. Andy says, I'm finding that watching Jeff draw is very relaxing. I'll check it out, Kelly. What's your Instagram name? Artifacts, did I get a price on the the class what from Stone Coat? Finally, they're getting some awesome work done, Deborah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Ellie. That's awesome, Sherry. Um, did I get a price on the kits from Stone Coat for the? Are you talking about the small kit? The small, like, resin kits? Force Creative. I will look it up. Mad Hamas. I want to check that out. Um, artifacts, we aren't going to be selling those individually, the small kits. We're, we're only adding them to, well, I'll have to talk to them about it. But I'm pretty sure right now we're only going to be putting them in our mystery boxes, some of them, and our beginner's pour kits and our um, color kits. Do you ever resin over these fabulous drawings? We're going to resin over this one just to see how the resin reacts to the uh, pastels and charcoal and the graphite. That's insane, Cherry. I'm glad they're handling it, though. Artifacts, I will let you know what they say. I don't know if they will allow me to sell their resin individually outside of the kits so we'll see i'll let you know that's awesome patty it looks like neon from here Will you resonate today? Yeah. See. What? Will you resonate today? Oh, I don't know, buddy. I might as well. You're just going to put. I might as well. I just want to put like a. a uh, what is it? A. Uh, Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks great. Safe flight, Kelly. Yeah, we'll resonate today, Kelly. Other Kelly Quincy. No, there's oh, Kelly Forrest and then Kelly Quincy. Can we just see how if it works? If I could, I'd resin over everything. Same. What are we What are we gonna test? Like, is it if resin goes over it, or if it? I want to know if it'll make any of what you use bleed, and if anything that you use will make any pits come up. That's true, Kelly. I think Jeff Strong would be an awesome logo. Yeah. 
I won't argue. But then again, number one fan over here, just regular. Okay. Since following my <laughs> since following ATD, my paintings are certainly different. I hope in a good way, Lynn. Also, <laughs> move, calm down. I love doing that. I love making stuff darker. I'm surprised you didn't do it in your the indigo swirly. It looks really good. And then the other swirly. So now. Yeah. Oh, you better don't. <laughs> I just think this spot's really voided. Voided? Yeah, there's nothing in it. You think you need to put something in it. In and around this area. Just draw a whole mermaid right there. Just right there. I suppose using a sealant would be beneficial. I think we have some clear matte spray paint here. What happened, Jumping Bunny? Possibly, Angie. Is that pen thing Jeff is using like a smudge pen? It's a, um, a blender. Oh. Looks like you're going to do a snake. A snake is snake. It turned out well, Sherry, just as expected. Sanded or not sanded, the Mod Podge worked well as a prepping medium to stiffen the canvas. Getting a snake shadow. Will you spray a seal on it before resin? You know what I thought if we did just do a part of it. I think we should do a half and half. Just to see. It's not enough on here for it to be a shadow. Angie says, I am in love with this creation. Thank you. This is just doodles out of the depths of Jeff's brain. I think when people buy things like this, they really get a piece of you as an artist because there's no reference. There's not really even, not that there's no thought, but it's it's what you feel like doing rather than what you feel like you have to do, you know? So if you want a piece of B. I'm glad you're still here, Angelina. Sometimes he'll get a crazy hair and he'll decide to take his chalk out and draw on the sidewalk and he'll end up getting a crowd and then end up having people like basically being security for his sidewalk chalk drawing. That's pretty funny. That's actually true. They're like stopping people from stepping Don't on anything. Walk through there. <laughs> Mm 
No worries, Jimmy Bunny. Thank you. True, true. A paqua? The heat on the resin may melt the pastels. Well, we're going to try it with... Yeah, I'm excited now. Just to see what we're going to see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Ouch. You get like a piece off of this. Such a really. That dark looks really good. Glad you're still here, Living Expression. I always wonder if people just like get caught up in watching and don't say anything after talking for a while or if they leave and new people are coming in because I always keep my eye on how many people are in the room mm -hmm. and I always wonder if it's if it's a consistent number if it's always the same people or if people are dropping out and coming in yeah definitely save the eyes and the horns with spray So many people are commenting. I'm still here. I'm still here. Just watching and relaxing. Mesmerized. Hi, Tiffany. Kenny already poured, but I will be posting this whole video after we're done. Now she said she's excited to see Kenny do his thing. Wow. It feels a little frustrated with that. With that, uh, that he read it because it's really light, it's more transparent. Yeah. I think he had an idea in his head, which I did too. I thought it would be very, very opaque and bright, but maybe he didn't put enough. One of those things where you definitely have to test it. Shading is bonkers, and we're about to get our resin on. I think you should seal part or all of it. Yeah, but I want to see what it's going to do. I know it's doing that one. Whether you can and whether you will are two totally different things. I do too, Angie. I also tend to enjoy very 
expensive hobbies like Moose. Let me show y'all where he hangs out when we're streaming. I'll take you on an adventure. Hey, Moose. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do. Are you adorable? I want to do a video boy. on Draw What You See, and I'm going to use those chrome balloons. You're that's crazy. That's the perfect. Your PDRs do it. You're it's a banana. Draw what you see. It's draw. It's just put that color right there where you see that color. I understand what you're saying, and I understand the concept. But for me to make it applicable, it's not even the right word. This is the orange. Thanks, Terry. I didn't know we had teal. Seriously. Da da da. Huh. Bye, Angelina. Right, so Tell us when we said hi. Gonna you just gonna get your resin on? We already know that resin over clear mat works. So maybe we should just see what resin over rug, all that does. Jeff is looking for some clear spray paint. Bye, Lynn. Glitter clear sealer. <laughs> I don't even think that thing sprays. Oh, that's an elephant I'm working on. It looks like that. Also, all that is color obsession. Let me see if I can get you guys around. I'm high enough to see. Back there, all those shelves, all those boxes are color obsession and just resin. that I've got to put away and post for all of y'alls. If you do a pour and the paint has silicone, can you varnish over it without cleaning it and before resin? Will it still have pits? I want to say it will still have pits, but I haven't done it myself, so I can't tell you firsthand. Bye, Lynn. Thanks, Daphne. We you reuse your silicone geode wall molds. How do you fix them to your substrate? Um, typically, yeah, I would reuse them, but for my geode table, we would we had to rip that thing apart to get it off of the base, so I'll have to make a new one. Usually, the silicone will stick to the vinyl sheet, but not the resin, so it should just pop out. My elephant. Let me just show you. This is what I used to do for my artwork, for my background. Let me show you guys. Ow! Mm -hmm. Just hit my whole leg off. Look how amazing this, you guys. It's going to be a super colorful background, very mandala-y for a client of mine. And, um, well. Question, remember one time when you resin kind of skipped around the edges of the canvas, you wondered, was it due to having a prime with the gloss spray paint? Glorious. Maybe, Kate. Thanks, y'all. This 
What is it? It's not going to stick my bad. Thanks, y'all. This is how you do, how you make lanes. But this isn't the kind of thing you can see. What is that on there for? I'm just going to make but in what though? Resin? No, and uh, no. Just, just to make the pattern. But with what though? With my hands. negative space. I'm telling you, this is how they used to make. See this? See that? You can take this off, and then you paint that. And you get That's my question. Are you painting it? No. I'm just going to wipe my hands I got gotcha. you. That was my question. So it'll make a negative space. Um, I went to, one of my degrees is in art, but it's in wheel thrown ceramics. With a concentration in Raku, but Jeff is self-taught all the way, and he kicks my art butt. You have your own ways. That's true. It is tape. He's pinstriping. Da, da, da. It's called ghost patterns. Hi, Don. Nice ghost patterning. Good ghost patterning. Yeah. Do you mean to hold something? Bye, Annie. Thanks for joining us. How do you get the tape delay so curvy? You have to manipulate it as I'm doing. He's and just literally have to twisting it and stretching it as he goes. You have to, you have to, you have to pull it and, and lay it all at the same time. You have to, you literally have to look ahead where you're, where you're going with it before you even like. I mean, obviously, you just you have to know where you're going. Um. And it doesn't want to stick because of the chalk. I love raccoon patty. It's oh, my favorite. It's not gonna stick. There's a lot of chalk right there, so. Has Jeff done pinstriping? I, I want to say yes. I don't want to call it pinstriping, but I did my own version. Is it a special kind of tape? This is a drafting tape, actually. This is like just tape that. Um, you used to put on a white erase board. That's I'll link it. it. And it's basically a very good control way to make those patterns in a piece. I added it to our artist till death Amazon shop. Jeff used to paint cars, didn't he? Yeah. Do you have any of your Raku pieces? I don't have any here. They're all of my mom's. She has most of my ceramics. Might have a photo. It's so funny. I know I have Jeff's artwork in photos, but I don't know if I have mine. I have one picture of one piece I did one time. <laughs> 
I have a tea tiny bowl I did in porcelain raku. That's it. It's the only raku piece I have a photo of from college. We struggle, y'all. Hi, Mariette. Our pleasure, Kate. What's Jeff think of Ed Roth and Von Dutch's work? Well, Big Daddy Ed Roth was, man, that's a lot of the stuff that I used to draw, you know, back in the day. But see, you get, you get some nice, fun ghost patterns. Uh, Von Dutch was a pinstriper. Um, and then somehow his name got involved in fashion. Um, and then that's what brought up Ed Hardy, which he was an amazing artist. Um, he's still alive, Ed Hardy, I believe, right? Um, it's funny because I saw a documentary on Ed Hardy. And he knew his name was on a shirt. He knew he had, you know, the Ed Hardy stuff. But he didn't know it went to this point of, you know, lighters and, you know, crazy, obviously knockoff stuff. Um, he did a piece for a show called 1000 Dragons, I believe, and drew on one single piece of paper on a roll. Like, it was a big roll of paper, and he just peeled it out, drew a dragon, drew a dragon. Like, and it went through the whole gallery. And he's he's an awesome guy. Like, he's the name Ed Hardy just kind of got demolished with all the douchebaggery and MTV, basically. So, and Jeff is using these little stands to keep the piece elevated just in case you guys want to know oh i got some new ones and you can uh they have them on the corners and you can put them together but like these things they go and you can snap them in but they're on the corners so you could probably make like a circle with them and they snap mm -hmm. together what what are you interested in yeah all right who's ready for some resin Everybody. That looks pretty cool, huh? It does. So he is not spraying it with a clear sprayer as he is. I don't have any. I have none. So it's going to be a raw everything under a resin it's test. It's going to be a raw everything. I think it's going to look amazing, what I think. Guys, this is the stuff that I pretty much 100% love to do because my creativity has been really, really crappy for probably the past uh, probably 15 years. I, I was in an artist block for at least 10 years, like real ugly, didn't want to paint, uh, you know, uh, anything, anything, anything until I met the one and only B here. They love the eyes. She snapped me out of it. Oh, you're... You're, you're my girlfriend, yeah. Me. No. I was trying to think of what you were talking about. Are you talking about when you were in your funk? Yeah, my artist block. Like, even before, before. Before, 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 before. Who in here has never spoke to us on our live? Can we get a high first time talker, long time viewer? We got any of that in here? First time caller, long time listener. Yeah. It's ridiculously cold in Melbourne. Well, it's ridiculously hot here, so. Well, am I going to have to bring Hi, Sunday. My, um, What's the temperature going to be like in Perth Yeah, in the beginning of October? I, I heard it's like coming out of the cold season, so it should be nice. It should be just regular nice weather.
That's a lot of resin, B. Are you going to do design work? And blood color. I'm going to flood the whole table. What will you be doing in Perth? We will be teaching classes, doing demos, and doing meet and greets. Like, hi, I'm the person on YouTube. Right. <laughs> Where are the that's YouTube gonna, That's going to be awkward to me. We're just regular people. We're not rock stars. We're, not, no. We're just regular. Laura said, I used to watch all the time silently before I said hello. Then it went crazy from there. We are not in Australia. We're in Dallas, Texas. We will be in Australia beginning of October. It's regular nice here in the Smoky it's Mountains. It's going to take an entire day and a half to get to Australia. We're going to leave in September and get there in October. <laughs> We're going to time travel. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Always glad to see you, Susan. Should I put like some tint in there and make some colors or no? Just like I would do like some fadey fade, like super fade. Laura Taylor says, Y'all are my rock stars. You're too cute, too cute. Andy said, I think I watched for almost two months before I said anything. Well, I'm glad you've spoken up. Laura says, I'm a true ATD fan and fam now. Yes, I'm. You is. Do you want to try an ink? The new tints? Yeah, I'm going to try that teal, whatever that was, that gnarly teal. Here, this one cracked in transit to take it. I don't know how much. Jesse's one of our brand new, soon to be released color obsession tints. This is Caribbean blue. I'm going to be releasing these this evening. I know we're going to love Australia. I'm super, super pumped. I don't know how much like, These come with pipettes, but I'm not going to waste one on this just in case one breaks. I don't get to join lives off, often, but when I do, it's ATD. I love it. Hi, Joyce. Welcome back. That's funny, Lou. Alright, so I just got a little bit out. It is very... Very blue. Very opaque, it looks like almost. I'm just going to pour it on here first. Thing. Y'all are so sweet. Um, it's buildable, the color in it is buildable. They start very light and you can build them to what's happening? Just putting a little bit on there and then see what it does and it goes over another. Um, so yeah, we use household paints. We just tested the mod podge. But typically we use household like flat wall paint. Don't use the gloss or anything other than flat. Flat works best. That sounds yummy, Deborah. So should I see if it smears if you try it in some non important areas? Just don't. What what's gonna happen? You'll smear gonna cut it on um, Typically we use household paint, Sue, but we 
we just tried it with Mod Podge just to see if it would work, and it did. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it's pushing some of the charcoal dust in these areas, but it might just be the reflection. It's not. This is where you're going to test whenever I smear it. Whenever I, I think it's what it's doing is it's picking up more of the smear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, this is what you're looking at, I think, because I smeared it with this ghost pattern all the way up here. I love burritos and mac and cheese. Y'all are making me hungry. I'm pretty sure I'm drooling right now. Guys, um, look at that jumping bunny. The link you clicked on goes to our website. We don't have resin posted for sale on the website. For that, I would look in the description box and go to Stone Coats link. Don't forget to use the ATD code to get $30 off your $80 order. I'm surprised it doesn't smear. I would have put money on that it would smear. I bet if you put elbow grease in it, it would smear. Don't try it. Not one smear. I can touch it. That is nuts. You can't even tell. Mm -hmm. It brightened up that blue though. Yeah. Green. Your ATD in the bottom looks super neon y. Yeah. Laura, don't rub it in. They're grilling burgers. Well, we're going to go see a movie and have some tacos. Hello? What? what what's wrong with you? <laughs> tacos have burgers. Oh, no tacos. Just movies. I think good. I haven't eaten yet today. I have some carbs I can catch up on. You're not supposed to have any carbs. I remember when it was just a pencil mark, Kenny says. Yeah, I just put a drop of that in here. How opaque is it? Ooh, look at that. You want to go to Lucy? It looks like a candy ink. Yeah. I still want a taco. I can use my drawings. It's a great way to protect them. It is. What should I do? Should I just like put it on? anyone notice he wrote out artist till death in that? Joe Fish did. My name says those eyes are really speaking now. Lou says, Jeff, you're taking resin and drawing to a whole nother level. You guys inspire me to do more stuff. I blame it on my followers.
Jumping Bunny, the blue we put in there is the tent that we have from Colored Session. I'm going to put them all the tents available today. I have a lot of really nice reds, but that was just the blue one. Caribbean blue. Look how that stayed there. Look at that. Because you dug it into it, I guess? I don't know. Finish spelling it out. Alright. Uh, That's fun. Deb says, okay, Joe, we'll take the blame. You want to do smoke bee? It looks so smoky. But blue smoky. I would love a lesson on Jeff's drawing. Very cool that it's working over pastels and charcoal. Y'all inspire me. It definitely darkened. Hope so, Lori. Mm -hmm. Kind of comes off, but. You put a lot of layered pastels there. Ready for this one right now. No. I'm Hopefully, we'll get there soon, Lori. Keep liking and sharing. I can adjust the camera if I need to. I'm going to be going this way. <laughs> Not sure, Jumping Bunny. Love how the blue resin shifted over the green eye. I need this tent. I'm planning on using translucent blues and greens to coat glass lampshades. This would be perfect for that. And also, I'll have them ready and available, like, within a couple hours. How fun is that? I can't see that, though. No, you need to, yeah, there you go. It looks like blue flames. Thanks, Lori. Y'all keep sharing your favorite of our videos, and we'll get to 100,000 before you know it. Love that you're taking artistic risk. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Glitter Pubes. I'm glad you just stopped in. Hi, David. We tried jumping What's up, buddy. Austin? Austin just walked in the house. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal Dawn. Yeah, I think you're onto something with how you're working these colors over your... Working it, working it. Work it, work it, work it. <laughs> it's Color Obsession Alley, and I will have it available on our website. Uh, I'll have these tints that he's using available by, like, within a couple hours. I have so many colors, I just have to make sure that my inventory is right before I post them. Everyone said hi, Austin. Uh, he's working hard. He's been uh, breaking stuff. Breaking stuff down. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put some of this real green in here and see what it's like. Wow, oh, that wasn't my resin. Dun dun dun. That made some nice teal. I'm gonna try this. What if we took just straight? I don't think it'll ever dry. Really? Oh, because it probably sits on the you know, 
question. Hi, Sue. The curl before the A in ATD would be an awesome with one of Jeff's eyes drawn in it as a logo. Hi, Sue. That's bananas. Just when you think it's finished, Jeff makes it even better. That's the Caribbean blue tint and emerald green. Yeah. I don't even want to see this color. Have a great night at work, Allie. I'm so glad it got there safe, Sue. Where did you and Jeff meet? The first time was at Concrete Cowboy. Second time was at Kung Fu. The third time was at Sisu. The time that we met that he remembers who I was was at a pool party. And then we became best friends, and then we became more than best friends. Just been on fire these last few days. It's just way too green. Still looks fun. Makeup. I know. I just want it on my face. Oh. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. She had to bust her own self. Where they with it? I love this green. Anyways. Do you want a red or any other color to put in there? Exactly, Sunday. Sunday. Could Jeff do an airbrush piece for me? Depends on what you're looking for. Shoot us an email. Emails. Can we talk about it, David? Lori, quick on the glitter. All right. I do need some glitter. What kind would you like? Do you want the super glitter, the extra fine super glitter? Huh? <laughs> Bam. Reminds me of the Mardi Gras masks. Mm. I don't know about that. I can push it up. Yeah. Jeff's airbrush class online just saying. Maybe one day. We can definitely do a piece for you, David. Hey, Austin, can you turn that off for a second? Oh, yeah. We're just about done. I want to learn, but can't get away from work. Um, maybe we can get that set up for y'all. I think you should blow the green eye up a little bit more. Set. 
absolutely, David. You should rainbow color the horn. I don't know that we have that much working time left in the resin, but I could be way wrong. That's right, Just Resin. It is early Tuesday. We're just making a mess over here. Jeff's testing whether pastels and charcoals and graphite will smear or not under resin, and turns out it does not. I will cover that invoice shortly. We were just playing with the emerald green a second ago. It's gorgeous. Do you want me to take your face piece and put it up? It's funny, like all the. Now it looks like her eyes have cat ears. Yeah. 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 Glad you're here, Christy. Look at that. This stuff just stays on. Because you have a, a hard, like hard edge. edge. Like there's hardly any unless I pushed it over. Congrats, Patty. Have a blast. Have a good night, Jumping Bunny. Alright, I want to do what you did last night. What'd you do? White with phthalo blue. And then you went And what? Um, the black. I don't know if it'll work the same since you need to knock the same thing. You have to push the color over the white. It's a unicat with the horn. So cool. Jeff, what did you use in her eyes? Charcoal. Charcoal and pastels. There you have it. Sell frenzy. Selling inside of cells. It is. It's cell selling cell cells. Focus. This is not gonna focus. There it goes. That green is trying to come through. Mm. That is insane. Daphne, shoot me an email and I'll help you with your very large four painting. Man. Oh, that white was stone coats. Yeah. I'm not sure, David. I can't tell you firsthand. Give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. Fun looking coaster. Why 
Well played, D. Well played. Have you ever used household radiator enamels? I have not. What? I'm not sure even what that is. I assume that's just a paint you used on radiators. It's funny, I, I bet that person who said that was, has been like, like they go somewhere for something and then something catches their eye like, hmm, I wonder if that would work in resin. We do that paint, all the time. Like everything, like we always do that. We always do. So you guys, I hope that you enjoyed our super long extra everything <laughs> feed today. Extra long Tuesday feed. Right? We went from two o'clock till basically when we usually start. That's not true. It, but we did go two, three, four, three and a half hours. There's people are gonna be like, I'm not watching that. Nope, no one's gonna watch this. But I yeah, gotta you can Post a picture of it, maybe they'll be interested. Maybe. This is going to be fun. I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to transition back over to the top. Y'all have a wonderful evening. We're going to go have tapos and watch a movie. I got to walk through Joe Corey. He's on my feet. And we said bye. Well, I don't say bye. Well, I say bye. Just going to say bye in a minute. I'm thinking about it. But they have fast forward. Good point. I said bye. But we're not done yet. Oh. <laughs> I figured you'd finish that and then you would say bye. Uh, Unless you're making info. This is used up uh, resin. I'm going to make another spool. I get, so it's, I guess she just left me with you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Can we just make a small skull of this? This poster turned out kind of awesome. I'm interested in what that's going to do tomorrow, that, that piece. Alright, you guys. Keep this up. And I'm out of here. I am Audi with all the five thousands. <laughs> You guys have a nice night. Thank you for watching all this uh, I don't know if she wants to say goodbye. I think she already said bye, right? <laughs> Thanks for showing up and staying this long. You guys rock. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Most likely at 8 Dallas, Texas time. You guys rock. See you later. I said bye.